What is up y'all, LBM here, and today is the day. It is the day that Deadpool and Wolverine finally opens in theaters. I mean, okay, technically it did last night because, you know, Thursday night preview showings, but, but the po the posters marketing and everything says July 26th, and that's today. So I'm just gonna count today and pretend Thursday night previews don't exist because, yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I'm seeing the movie today. I'm also seeing it tomorrow. They yep, I already got two um, tickets booked to see it twice even though i haven't seen it once already i have that i have that much hope so if i see it if, you know if, if i see it today or i'm, I'm seeing it today um i can't how am I, i'm having a hard time wording okay after i see it today and if i hate it then oh well i still have to go tomorrow because i'm not i already paid my for my ticket but i doubt i'm gonna hate it because for a lot of good things about it i've been really excited for this movie as you all know obviously i'm a huge 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 wolverine fan and deadpool fan of course but i mean come on just look look at this go over here on my desk um yeah i was drinking good coke oh it's got juggernaut hey juggernaut he's in the movie but we've seen in um some of the like tv spots we've seen like glimpses of him don't know if it's vinnie jones though we'll find out in the movie today i guess because he did say he wasn't in it but again we'll see mm. it's pretty good um we got the wolverine popcorn bucket of course the last video i was showing this off um and i was seeing uh, I plan to keep it as like the display back here in the background for videos, but I was saying I'm gonna take this to the theater today to eat popcorn out of. So that's gonna be pretty cool. Um, of course, we got the Deadpool and Wolverine necklace. I'm gonna be wearing that. I'm gonna be wearing both of them just because you know, yeah. But if if I were to wear just one, then I would do the Wolverine one because, yeah. Um, obviously we got some Wolverine claws, which are pretty cool. Obviously most likely not gonna wear it in the theater because i'd probably get kicked out but i will i think store them for the car ride at least and then we got uh the wolverine glasses right here um i was planning to get like a just like a wolverine mask but there are a few things about that one i could not find a mask that was you know that was too appealing to me like there is the wolverine 2013 mask that was like 40 bucks on amazon but i heard it's like made it out of rubber which um was a bit of a you know turn off point that and it doesn't have like like the eye the white eyes this one doesn't either but you know still can't like it still has you know it still has that at least um also the this fin looks kind of weird because um as soon as i got it i showed it to my dad and he accidentally dropped in so that that top that top part of it um chipped off but oh well sorry dad it's could have been worse definitely but um yep yeah, gonna be wearing that bringing that wearing this and these at least for just a car ride right? and then we also got where there it is the deadpool and wolverine shirt i got um i love this shirt <laughs> looks beautiful i haven't worn it in public yet been waiting for when i see this movie so yeah and now i can finally wear it today and also if you saw over here uh got my old wolverine figure um if it looks like messed up like the color like on his mask especially uh this toy is very old i've had this since i was like eight or nine so i've had this for like the last decade or so so yeah would have would have worn out um i lost the claws sadly um I'm probably not gonna bring this but still i've had i've had them out for quite a few weeks now because yeah been hyped for the movie um so yeah so uh let's just uh let's start getting dressed shall we okay fully dressed <laughs> um so yeah, I got the necklace on. I really wish these would, you know, like, wish they were like, you know, magnetic because, yeah, as you can tell, they're not. So every time I move around, that happens. So, oh well. But then got the shirts, you know, here's the, the whole fit. Um, pretty cool. And yes, I have legs. I know some of you may be surprised. <laughs> um, but um, yeah pretty cool out and oh yeah should show off the claws also i forgot to mention also about the why well, i didn't get a mask obviously i pointed out that i couldn't find a good one it was also because obviously let's be honest um most theaters if not every theater maybe there's a few cool ones but mostly every theater um well does not allow you to wear mask inside which you know i mean i guess you know gotta be safe but i don't know i don't know i'm kind of worried they're gonna tell me to take this off too but i mean you know i can't i could could just argue well there's sunglasses you know there's sunglasses <laughs> but i don't know we'll see what they say but um yeah uh man i wish these were magnetic or do um they keep doing that i might just 
hell. If they do, I might just put the Deadpool one in here and have the Wolverine one out. I do like that this one's on um on like this side and then this one's on that side. That's pretty cool. Um, then we got the claws. Fix that up. Ugh, come on. Okay, good enough. Bye. Yep, this is the fit. This is the fit. Okay, wait, well, here. Let me get my best, um, like, Wolverine pose. All right. <sighs> okay. I'm, I'm not, I'm no Hugh Jackman. And then, of course, can't forget, we got the popcorn bucket we'll be bringing. Um, still wonder if they're going to, like, still wonder if I can actually, like, ask them to put some in there. If not, then obviously the popcorn my F. <clears throat> my family will get they'll just put some of it in here so yeah but um yeah i think we're ready to go so let's head on over to the theater to watch deadpool and wolverine two hours later just got back from seeing deadpool and wolverine and i definitely got quite a bit to say on it um first off i might do a, i might do like a spoiler live stream because this is gonna be Kind of a quick-ish spoiler review so i might do like a spoiler spoiler review live stream for like you know you guys to also talk with me about it or i might just do like also like a, a longer video with maybe a friend of mine i don't know but here we're gonna let's talk about it right here and now shall we my god this movie is so much fun this movie like is actually so much fun and you know i saw some people kind of complaining about like the soundtrack i remember when the soundtrack was came out i thought it was i was like oh this looks great then I saw some people say like some of their like songs didn't fit well in certain scenes, and while I can see that for a couple scenes, I do gotta say I think like especially the opening scene um, with Bye Bye Bye, I thought that was great. I thought that was a great way to open the movie up. Um, and speaking of that, they do cut right to the chase with um, Logan. Of course, you know that's one of the biggest scenes that we're talking about going into the movie was how is this how is this movie going? Can't talk. How is this going to affect Logan? Because obviously Logan died at the end of that one. A lot of people, including myself, didn't want that to be ruined, you know, just by like bringing him back. And man, I think they did. I think they, I think they did pretty good, you know, pain with that. I think they did a good job. Um, and obviously, of course, it, it's not the same Logan from the previous movie. It's the new Logan, and we'll talk more about him later. But yeah, so I think everything, everything pretty much before like the TVA actually gets the Deadpool, I think was pretty good. Pretty good way to start the movie. Um. Like the the scene with like Deadpool and Happy Hogan, I thought it was pretty solid. Um, so yeah, then of course we get to the TVA, where Deadpool's offered to go join the MCU Earth, and I thought that was pretty cool. And the, of course we got the twist of the um, you know the anchor being of Earths that that being for Deadpool's Earth, which was God what, what's the Fox Earth like ten thousand five something like, something like that. Of course because Logan died, which which first, I do want to point out the years don't mind up too much because it's clearly this movie takes place in the year 2024, but Logan doesn't die until 2029. But maybe I wouldn't be surprised if that was done on purpose just to continue the messed up timeline that is the Fox X Men movies. Um, but yeah, so obviously, uh, because Logan died and Deadpool's universe is gonna fade away, Deadpool uh, goes and travels to other Earths to find the other Deadpools, and I thought that was a great sequence. Um, the first one especially was pretty funny with the comic accurate height Wolverine. Like, you know, I've always thought about it. I've always been, I've always kind of thought like, could I, would that really work? Honestly, like comic accurate Wolverine. And it's like, I mean, I don't know. I, I don't know. Maybe it still could if it was done for a whole movie, but still like the, <laughs> it's still pretty funny just to see it in that one scene. Um, and then, you know, we got the like old man Logan. That was cool. The, um. What, I forgot, what was that logo? what kind of version of logan was that he was like the long hair the like one suit i don't know um woke the way the logan on the cross the x um i felt very you know Deadpool should have taken that one that one he's i felt really bad for that one he, he should have just taken that one you know um but then then we got we got henry cavill as wolverine i thought that was pretty cool i was kind of spoiled about that because i was scrolling through youtube and a thumbnail freaking popped up and you know so that was that was nice it was still it was still pretty cool to see henry cavill as wolverine i think you know he, he he's got the look definitely so that was pretty cool um then obviously we, we meet the main wolverine of the movie and yeah then the movie went on you know deadpool wolverine 
went into the void and i think the void stuff was pretty good i think um like obviously we were first off like yeah all the fight scenes between deadpool and wolverine in the void were great you know like <clears throat> it's just you know like going into it i was like you know are they gonna like point to the fact that they could literally fight each other for days and um you know like this no, no, neither neither of them is gonna win basically and they did in fact specifically in the second fight they had in the car so yeah uh we see chris evans human torch i thought that was pretty cool um pretty awesome to see him back uh i wish he got more screen time of course but like they said budget <laughs> chris evans must be too expensive i'm sure um and the day the way he died was so brutal like yeah we all thought the reed richards death was brutal and dr strange uh too but this the death here i think was even more brutal honestly um then uh cassandra nova i don't want to talk a bit more about her she was a f okay villain she wasn't great i don't think but she also wasn't she wasn't bad you know she was definitely threatening but she also wasn't like you know definitely not one of my favorite x-men villains or mcu villains but she was you know she was okay she was all right i think the actress did a good job of course um and it was just it was cool seeing all the other x-men villains there you know briefly like pyro juggernaut uh i thought that was pretty cool um of course we get introduced to like uh freaking electra which we already knew which are was it was already confirmed like a year ago but still that was cool we saw blade which i was not expecting at all so that was really cool seeing Blade back. Gambit played by Ch Channing. Channing Tatum. But that was pretty cool. And then of course X-23. Because we all know that. Because they revealed it in the trailer last week. And I think that was all pretty cool. I think that group was awesome. And it was nice to spend some screen time with them. I do wonder though. Are they the same exact ones from their movies? Because they didn't, they didn't. I think they. They, they, you know, I thought they implied that X-23 was the same one from Logan, but it could, I don't know, it could still be a different one, but I don't know. I, I mean, they st I feel like they pretty much, you know, imply it specifically when her and Logan are talking. So, yeah. I like sure, I, I, I want to say she's a different, I mean, obviously she, no, she didn't die. She had her own movie, right? I don't remember that movie. I don't remember. I don't know about like sure. Um, and then, yeah, obviously Blade, I'm not too sure about, uh, Game it's yeah, I haven't seen them before, so I don't know. But yeah, I thought the whole team was pretty cool. Um, it was the fight scene, especially with, with all of them, was pretty cool. It was nice seeing Gamma use his powers. Um, you know, Blade and Electra and X twenty three also fighting was cool. And just all the fight scenes in this movie were great. Like I think Sean Sean Levy actually did a really great job. As, as you can tell, I'm starting to lose my voice. Where did my soda go? Uh, yeah, and then obviously, shortly after, we get back to Deadpool's Earth where we see a bunch of deadpool variants i thought that was pretty cool that whole fight scene was awesome as well and i think <laughs> fucking peter deadpool <laughs> i thought that was pretty funny how, like all the deadpools were just stopped because oh uh, we have a peter in every on every earth <laughs> i thought that was pretty funny um the freaking wolverine oh my god dude i fucking lost my mind when wolverine pulled out his mask my god y'all know i'm a huge fan of the iconic yellow wolverine costume and just yeah seeing him pull that mask down man the mask looks so beautiful in live action it really does really wish it was in the movie more but you know still got a decent amount of screen time with it so i'll take it i guess um but yeah it looked so good on him you know like you know especially with the suit sleeveless i do still i've been saying this i really wish they had kept the shoulder pads when he was sleeveless i feel like that was really missing with the sleeveless look but i do think the mask made it look a whole lot better without the shoulder pads so yeah um and of course we get to the final battle of deadpool and wolverine which i thought was really great and really powerful love that whole sequence um and then they, it's back to deadpool's earth and they live happily ever after pretty much um which does make me which does make me you know think now or now how do i explain it this now pretty much this pretty much means now that they they still haven't they still technically haven't um or they still technically are not a part of the mcu i guess there's the tva obviously but i mean i like, felt the whole marketing towards this movie was that was everyone ba basically implying that they were joining the mcu which again they technically are but I, I was i was i was thinking maybe by the end of the movie that you know they would all go to earth 616 the mcu earth and that didn't happen which i mean 
you know, that's, 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 from what we've heard of Fantastic Four, that movie's going to take place on a different Earth, and then they will probably won't like join the MCU Earth until Secret Wars. So the, I think the same will probably happen with Deadpool and Wolverine, or at the very least Deadpool, obviously, because I'm sure. Uh, well, just no. But I think I was, I, I was. I mean, like you know, for like if they want to stay on, you know, post Secret Wars. So I still. So maybe Wolverine Deadpool will still join them. I don't know. I don't know. I can't talk properly. I can't. <laughs> um, but yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think. So I had like one other issue, kind of. I mean, again, I brought up Cassandra Nova, who she was okay, like I said. Um, again, I feel like I had something else, kind of negative ish. Maybe, you know, it was, it was, how about I just try to forget it? <laughs> um, but yeah, get, this movie was just so much fun. I had so much fun with this movie. I thought it was great. And I loved it. I really did. And I'm seeing it again tomorrow, and I'm super excited to see it again. So if, um, and also I gotta bring up, I love the Wolverine in this movie. I think this Wolverine was a great variant of, you know, the original X-Men Wolverine. Obviously he was pretty, he was pretty different in, in, you know, sort of ways. Like obviously apparently he got his X-Men killed. I thought that whole backstory was handled pretty well. So I really loved Wolverine in this movie. And I think Deadpool 2 was great. His whole arc was also really good. Um, and again, like I said, most of the characters were great. So yeah, so if I had to rate this movie, I would give it a five out of five on Letterbox. That's kind of how I that's kind of how I start rating my movies now, is by Letterbox. Otherwise, by um, like the ten out of ten rankings, probably a nine or a nine point five out of ten. I absolutely love this movie. I thought it was great, and I cannot wait to see it again tomorrow. But that's just my thoughts. What did you guys think of Deadpool Wolverine? Let me know in the comments, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace out.